That was all from the background to um, soundboard. Now let's do sound tests. So you can see that sounds one, three, and five are not as loud as the others. So we got to get to the bottom of that. Okay, this is the same CPU board that exhibited the failure of sounds one, three, and five. And I have them working now. I've worked through the process uh, where you replace the cheapest and easiest components first. It's really hard to get any measurements that guide you directly to the components. So. I replaced C8 here. It's a 10 microfarad cap. No joy. Replace the 3904 here. That's a 15 cent part. Easy to replace. No joy. So I socketed and replaced the 1408 here. Still no joy. Sounds 1, 3, and 5. We're still weak. So I scratched my head on that for a long time and then decided that R7 could be a possible reason. And I did do some measurements, some voltage measurements. Voltage at this top edge of R7 should be about two and a half volts normally during sound test. And the one that uh, was in there was preventing all the voltage from getting through there and it was basically zero. So that resistor had gone open. You don't really tend to suspect resistors very often, but in this case, that was the issue. So let's boot it up. And I don't have the um, background soundboard attached so we won't see this first test anything. I'll put it in the game for the subsequent test, but... So you can see now, sounds 1, 3, and 5 are all good to go now. And that was the root cause up here in the sound section. So I'll link these two videos together. And thank you so much.